Hey guys, welcome back to Gone with the Whisk. Okay, so a lot of you have wanted to see my royal collection. So here's a, not a quick tour of it, but um, as you can see behind me is the bulk of it. I have a bunch of commemorative plates from all over uh, Europe, not just England. Um, I have some different little trinkets on the wall. I have a shelf full of books, ceramic dolls, tea tins, uh, tiara replicas, and um, a binder full of both news articles, but also letters and cards I've received from various royal family members. Um, and there's also a replica military jacket that I'm working on and a bunch of other stuff. Um, I also have a cardboard cutout, life-size cutout of the Queen that a friend sent to me. Um, it lives in a closet and it's like behind my, um, hey buddy, it's behind my Christmas tree so I didn't dig that out. But it, um, it scares me. <laughs> um, a friend sent me a message one day and was like, hey, you have a package being delivered. So I got home from work and I... You know, saw this huge, giant, uh, flat box at my door. So I was like, well, what is this? And I pulled it in, opened it up, and I, like, died laughing because the cardboard cut out of the queen. And I set it up, took some selfies with it, and I was like, ah, this is crazy, and went to bed, woke up, laughed at it, uh, went outside to walk the dog, came back in, turned the corner, saw a person standing in my living room about to have a heart attack. So now it lives in the closet. <laughs> but, um... This is going to be my royal collection. So the collection is divided into three sections. First I have plates. Below that I have the books, magazines, um, ceramic dolls. And over here I have the wall with the rest of it. But let's start with the plates, I guess. In the center, we have the late Queen Elizabeth II. Um, above her is a plate of her from a coronation with a matching one of Prince Philip below it. Um, yeah, Princess Diana from her death. Um, one of King Charles and Queen Camilla from their wedding. Uh, King George VI and Queen Elizabeth, the Queen Mother, from their coronation. And then Queen Elizabeth, the Queen Mother, from her death in 2002. Uh, Princess Diana again. Queen Alexandra. Uh, Prince Harry and Meghan Markle, the Duke and Duchess of Sussex. Uh, Queen Mary. This is probably my favorite plate. Um, it's from her husband's coronation in 1911. Um, Will and Kate, or Prince William and Catherine, the Prince and Princess of Wales from their wedding in 2011, a hundred years after. And that one is actually from 1901, 1902, I think, from her husband's, uh, George V's coronation. So it's, um, fairly old too. Um, here is the King, Carl Gustav of Sweden, Queen Sylvia, Crown Princess Victoria, and Prince Carl, Carl Philip of Sweden. Um, King George VI and Queen Elizabeth, the Queen Mother, when they visited America. There is a matching plate of this from when they visited Canada. It's a red color. It has Canadian landmarks on it. Um... I saw it one time on Etsy or eBay, and I wished I had got it, so i keep an eye out for that again. Uh, Princess Diana again. Uh, Queen Alexandra and King Edward the Seventh. Uh, this is from their coronation again. 19... let me see, be careful with it. 1902. So it's, it's fairly old. There is Princess Margaret, uh, Queen Wilhelmina of the Netherlands, uh, King Baldwin and Queen Fabiola 
of Belgium and the christening of Prince Harry. So that's Queen Elizabeth, the Queen Mother, Queen Elizabeth II, Prince William, Prince Harry, Princess Diana, and now King Charles. Okay, so then over here, we have Queen Elizabeth again. We have um, Tsar Nicholas II and Tsarina Alexandra of Russia. Um, from the coronation of King Edward VIII that never took place. Um, Sarah Ferguson, Duchess of York, and Prince Andrew from their wedding. Um, Prince and Princess of Wales with Prince George at his birth. And it has little rhinestones on it so it sparkles. Uh, King George V, the son of Queen Victoria. And then there is a plate of Queen Victoria from her her last jubilee. Uh, this is eighteen nineties, I believe. Let me be careful with it. Eighteen ninety seven. Yes. Some of these I have labeled for years on the back. Not all of them. But this is the majority of my plates. I need to clean and dust everything. Um, but this is the majority of them. The, um, I've got a few more that are, like, I know there's a plate of, like, Westminster Abbey. I'm not sure where it is. And there's a couple more, like, it's not royal people, but they're royal adjacent landmarks or something that I need to find and, um, hang up around here. I had a small stack that I was waiting to, um, get more hangers for to hang. Um, and there was one of the Romanovs, I think a small one of Prince Philip or something, something with the Queen, um, King George and Queen Elizabeth's coronation, and they got knocked off of my shelf and broke, so I'm eventually going to try to replace some of those. But the Romanovs, it's really hard to find anything on them. Um, this is actually a reproduction of a plate from 1999. The reproduction was made in 1999, um, when their bodies were buried in, uh, St. Petersburg. I forget the name of the, the church. But, um, anything original Romanov is, for one, over 100 years old, so it's a bit more rare. But also, a lot of that was destroyed in the Russian Revolution, so that's really hard to find. So everything I have or had on them was modern. But these are the plates so far. Always looking for more. I've had to put a spin, stop spinning for a good while because I look, you know, everything's expensive now. But hopefully I can get back to this because this was kind of a fun hobby. Okay, now we have this wall. Well, we're going to start on the bottom for just a minute. This is a military jacket reproduction I ordered on Etsy. Um, it actually came from, like, Pakistan. Um, it's several sizes smaller than it was supposed to be. And it doesn't have the sash belt that was included in the photos. And it doesn't have the white clover it was on the photos. It was actually kind of expensive, but it's a good start. Um, it risks of sounding crazy. The goal with that is to kind of replicate Prince William's uniform. Um, I have the, what is this, Knight of the Garter uh, badge. I got for Christmas one year from my dad, and let's see. Do I have it on here? Um... I need to get like a blue sash, the sash belt, and the yellow ropey shoulder thing that I cannot think of the name of right now. And then you can get reproduction medals for like the Queen's different jubilees and everything to go on there too. So that's um, something I'm slowly working on. Um, up here, I have some different just... British London coffee cups 
this was a or this is a teacup and matching saucer from King George Queen Elizabeth's um, coronation I got that for Christmas from my dad one year um, I also have this little pin from the Queen's Platinum Jubilee a replica of a Prince of Wales pin what I'm pretty sure is a Russian Romanov double-headed eagle I really haven't checked this um, to make sure that it actually is what it is and then a pocket knife for the royal family that's King George Queen Elizabeth Princess Elizabeth Princess Margaret and Queen Mary I thought that was just kind of absurd and I had to have it okay now this is an actual piece of King Charles and Princess Diana's wedding cake. Um, so if I can zoom in here on it. But this is an actual piece of their wedding cake. Um, you can find these online fairly inexpensive. I mean, it's like a little, a little crumb. Like that's how big it is compared to my finger. But it actually probably cost like forty dollars, which um, no, I guess, which sounds like a lot. But I mean, it's very different, and also I do a lot of cakes and stuff, so you know, kind of just fit. Let's see, over here is a medal from King Bowden and Queen Fabiola's wedding. Uh, it's the king, former king and queen of Belgium. Uh, that wedding was in 1975. Okay. Then over here, we have some different memorabilia from King George and Queen Elizabeth's coronation in the 1930s. There's a spoon with his face on it, a medal, him and the queen, a little pin with the king, the queen, and the two princesses. And then two coins from their reign. Um, okay. Over here is a shelf mostly Queen Elizabeth II. A little figure statuette. Uh, the ink pen that I showed in my uh, mailbag video a while back. This is actually a Christmas ornament and a coin from her jubilee and then a london guard uh, mug and then in the back is a silver tray from her silver jubilee in 1977. i actually found that randomly at a flea market here all right up above we have a tin from king edward the eighth uh, for the coronation that never took place because he abdicated um, statuette of Kate Middleton. Uh, it broke, so I've got to repaint her leg there. A salt shaker of the queen. And then up top here, I have a little plate from the queen. It's coronation, a tin. On the other side of that has a picture of Prince Philip. And then a little coffee cup of all the different kings and queens of England. Here is a silk print of Queen Mary. Um, it actually came in a pack of cigarettes way, way back in the day. Um, they give out little little souvenirs, I guess, like you would a um, prize in a cereal box when it packs of um, cigarettes. Okay, this, um, my dad actually made this. When, I, when he gave me the um, medal that's pinned to the coat. Um, most trusted uh, friend of the realm. It's a replica of what uh, like knights in England, when you're knighted, are given. So he actually um, designed that, had it made, and had it framed. Um, and got that, so it's hanging right here in the middle of everything. This here is a postcard from the very early 1900s, and it shows King Edward VII, Queen Alexandra, um, 
King George, or who would become King George and Queen Mary. They were the Prince and Princess of Wales at the time. And then their children, including um, King Edward VIII and King George VI. Right here is my Queen Victoria shelf. Two little statuettes of her on her wedding day, and then her after her husband's death. Um, a pocket watch, this is a replica from Timu, and a coin of her face, and then this bowl was sold to me, um, saying it was from 1840 from their wedding. Uh, there's actually a matching little bowl that I found online of the two of them and their children, so I don't think it's 1840, but I'm pretty sure it's still from the 1800s. And that's mainly based on the feel of the ceramics, um, the fact that stuff of her wouldn't really be sold during the 1900s, and the very limited colors on the plate makes me think um, it's from the 1800s, just not 1840 from her wedding. All right, then I have this teapot of Queen Alexandra and King George, or King Edward. Um, this is actually a card I got from the Prince and Princess of Wales. I actually received two of the same one, so I have framed this one. I'll show you all some of those in a little bit. And then here is a tin of Queen Elizabeth from her coronation, and again, Prince Philip is on the back. Okay, and way up top is a couple Christmas ornaments, some little cutouts of Meghan Markle and Prince Harry. And then another tin of the Queen. Okay, over here are my Royal Funko Pops. Um, they're stuck down, they're supposed to be stuck down with like some museum putty, but they keep falling. So I've got to figure out how to really secure them. But I've got King Charles, Prince and Princess of Wales, the Queen, King George II, who's a Hamilton Pop actually, uh, the Queen again. Prince Harry and Meghan Markle, and Princess Diana. And then way up top, I have two T-tins, um, Harry and Meghan, Will and Kate. And then in the middle is a piece I need to fix, but it is um, the Queen and Prince Philip riding in a carriage. This was made for the 1977 Jubilee, and it has horses, I need to it's damaged, I need to like glue it all back together. But it's up there for now. So that is this wall. This is also where um, Monty's like to sleep the past week or so in this chair. <laughs> okay, so now for the shelf, I have some different shortbread tins, uh, a little statuette of Queen Elizabeth. Here is a very small replica of the Queen Mary French tiara. And actually, you can see her wearing that tiara here. And I don't think there's a plate of her wearing it. Oh, but you can see um, Queen Elizabeth, the Queen Mother, wearing it there in that plate. Uh, it was kind of famous. The Queen Elizabeth wore it a lot, and she wore it on her wedding day, I believe, and Princess Beatrice wore it on her wedding day, too. Then there is a replica of the Lover's Knot tiara. Um, it was, again, made for Queen Mary, but is really famous for Princess Diana wearing it. Um, you can see it here. And Kate Middleton, the Princess of Wales, um, where is it pretty often too? These two here, I just randomly found at the flea market. I need to go back on my phone and find the picture I took of the tags. It's they're um, from a it's a Maharaja in India. Um, I've forgotten the name or what region of India he was the prince of for the he rolled over. So I need to go back and find those and write it down. But, you know, I collect not just England, but like all over the world, world stuff. Okay, this is 
the book. Um, I quite often send, I haven't done it in a really in a while, but I send birthday cards, Christmas cards, or little letters um, to members of various royal families, and fairly often they will send a card back, and sometimes, like the Princess of Wales office did here, um, back when she was the Duchess of Cambridge, they actually write back a letter. And this was from one of her secretaries, her sign, but it's from her office, from her. Um, and in my book, so I have like all the way back. I have to show y'all some more. Uh, block out my address on a lot of these. But I like why I write why I sent it, when I sent it, when I received the reply. Um, and I have a picture of the country. So it's actually got a lot of stuff in here. A lot of cards. I'll do a clip of like going through it with y'all. Um, here is a teapot of Queen Elizabeth I. Um, on the back, still a portrait of her, but has different people with her. All right, here is a little metal tin. Keep calm, carry on. I need to get like some Google on or something and get that sticker off. It came with the mug that's hanging up over there. I just randomly found that at Goodwill one day. And then here is a little statuette of Princess Diana. Okay, now here we have, I forget the name of it, but this is the tiara that Meghan Markle wore on her wedding day. And then here we have the, this is the tiara that Princess Wales, uh, Kate Middleton, sorry, wore on her wedding. Um, it's like a Cartier Halo tiara, I believe it's called. Um, but it's not one of the royal family's tiaras. I don't believe I could have that mixed up with Princess Diana's though. Okay, so now down below we have one stack of royal books. Um, I was not going to get the the porcelain dolls. Uh, that was a level of crazy I did not want to venture into. But one day I just happened to find this pair and this pair on eBay, like super cheap. And I just bid on a whim and then I won both of them. So now I have them, I guess. <laughs> but here is Queen Victoria. Um, and then there is Queen Elizabeth, the Queen Mother. And there is King Charles at his wedding to Princess Diana. She actually has a huge, like, six foot long train that is um, in a box in a closet. Because it, it's, it's big. Her veil is really long. You can't see it bunched up behind her there. It's, it's really big. I also have the Princess Diana um, T.Y. Bear. Beanie Baby. And a Queen Elizabeth um, doll that my mother actually crocheted for me. Uh, people will post those Beanie Babies online on eBay and stuff all the time. They're, they're not worth anything. Maybe the larger size could be worth a little bit, but the regular ones, they're, they're not worth what people think they're worth. Okay, now we have Prince William and Princess Catherine on their wedding day. There is a wooden cutout of Pippa Middleton, her sister. Um, the person I got these from had collected them, and there was a, I guess, a magazine advertisement of the Princess Middleton, I mean, the Pippa Middleton doll with them, so they actually cut out that picture and glued it to a piece of wood, um, because it was, like, really expensive, really hard to find. It was also a matching Prince Harry doll, because Pippa was Kate's maid of honor, and Harry was Will's, uh, best man. They didn't make many of those two, so... That was, I guess, their solution to not being able to get either of those dolls was to make their own wooden cutout go behind them. 
Uh, so that came with it, along with those cutouts up there. And that cutout, and I have a couple more that I've got in the box somewhere. Right, and then there's another stack of royal books. And then down below here is my royal magazines. Uh, these go back to the 90s when Princess Diana died, all the way up to a few months ago. And then that's just some random books I have that's not royal related. Alright, so now let's look at the book. You hear the cats are running around playing with each other. But let's look at the book now. Alright, right now we have my little helper, Oscar. But here is mail received from the royal families of Europe. Um, this was a Christmas card from King Charles and Queen Camilla when they were the Prince and Princess of Wales. Um, Prince William, Princess Catherine. Let's see how little the kids were there. Uh, this is from Harry and Meghan. Uh, this was all December 20, 2019, and I received the beginning of 2020. So let's see. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex were extremely touched by your message. It's in their very best wishes for the year ahead. Okay, and then I went through and printed out some photos and news articles. Um... At the beginning of 2020 and 2021. Um, I didn't keep up with this. I basically did it through the... Um, at least through um, Prince Philip's funeral. Ooh, this is coming apart here. <laughs> if I can get some of this. There we go. I want to fall apart. Kind of just, um, like, where the different royals um, wound up. And then uh, a transcript of the Queen's, you know, coronavirus address. And her Easter message she gave that year. I need to do some more of this. And let's see. Just some different news articles. Um, when the king and Prince William had COVID, uh, Princess Beatrice's wedding, that's the tiara I mentioned earlier. Right, a card from Princess Anne. She, every year, every occasion, no matter what, she sends the exact same card. Um, the Princess Royal appreciates your kind thoughts and sends you her thanks and best wishes for the future. It doesn't matter what occasion, she sends out that same one. Um, and her office typically sends it really fast. Copy of the Queen's Christmas address. Okay, so that was like the first year. I only sent out a few cards and only got like a few back. And I just sent the ones that I sent in 2019 just on a whim. Because I was sending cards out to friends. Um, so 2020, I did a lot more. So here is the King and Queen of Belgium. And their children. Um... Let's see. Prince Albert and Princess Charlene of Monaco. Can I kind of see here? And it's written in three different languages here. Uh, this is from Belgium. This is from Princess Elizabeth. Um, I sent her a specifically a Christmas card. 
and they sent a copy of her birthday a little note because she didn't have her own Christmas card or anything so that was nice to get um, I received two from Monaco that year actually so I went sent one to Charlene and to Albert individually because that um, it costs a lot like postage for international stamps is about a dollar fifty dollar sixty so it costs a lot more money to send in cards individually to individual members of royal families but it does increase your chances of getting a response so I was able to get a card back from each of them um, Prince Frederick and Princess Mary of Denmark now Queen Fr King Frederick and Queen Mary of Denmark um, King Charles of Queen Camilla then is the Prince of Wales and Duchess of Cornwall. Ooh, this is the first letter I got from the Queen, or the Queen's office. Um, the Queen wishes me to thank you for the message you sent for Christmas and New Year. Her Majesty greatly appreciates your kind thoughts for this difficult year and hopes you to have a happy and peaceful 2021. So that was sent by her lady, uh, the Queen Elizabeth's uh, lady of waiting. So that was really exciting to get. Um, all of these are printed on European sized paper, and I have American sized um, binders and page protectors. So I do need to, at some point, upgrade that. But that was really exciting to get because I didn't know who the envelope said Buckingham Palace. I didn't know whose office it was going to be from until I opened it up. I think I only maybe got one more piece of mail from the Queen. I can't quite remember. Um, a lot of people would send her letters, and so it's harder to get um, mail from them because I can't respond to every single person. So it was really exciting to actually get chosen to get a response. Um, this is Queen Margareta of Denmark. And then, um, the Duke and Duchess of Sussex. This was after they, um, moved to America. They still had an office at that time in England that was sending out replies. Um, but they... That was the last card I got from them, I believe. And then there was um, Princess Eugenie and her husband had a baby. Okay, This one came from King Willem Alexander and Queen Maxima of the Netherlands. Um, they were kind of promoting their work with UNICEF. And on the inside it had... Um, their Christmas, you know, message in English and in Dutch. And this is from um, Monaco. Her Serene Highness Princess Charlene. It's for her birthday. And it's nice. You see the um, an insignia there. It's real sparkly. And, all right. Uh, Grand Duke Henry and Grand Duchess Maria of Luxembourg. So this is from Christmas 2020 I received in February 2021. And that is when Prince Harry and Meghan Markle announced the um, their second baby. This um, it was when Prince Philip was hospitalized in March of 2021. Um, and this begins the news coverage of his death and funeral. He was 99 years old. Um, 
Queen Matilda of Belgium. Uh, the card says, The warm greeting that you were kind enough to address to Her Majesty the Queen on the occasion of her birthday gave her great pleasure. The Queen expresses her success. Yeah. Sincere thanks for your appreciated attention. What is what you doing, kitty cat? All right, the the Wales family back when they were the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge. This was for the um, Christmas, and it received it on March first of the next year. The Dalai Lama, royal ish. Uh, this was Commonwealth Day in England. There was a copy of the Queen's speech. Oh my goodness. <laughs> That's what I hear all day and all night. It's just everybody running up and down the stairs. It's crazy. <laughs> Alright, and that is stuff about the Oprah Winfrey interview with uh, Sussexes. And then Palace's responses to these different things. Prince Philip was released from the hospital. Uh, King Philippe the Sixth and Queen Letizia of Spain. This was a Christmas card from them. I received on March 17th of 21. Um, Princess Lenora and Princess Sophia. Uh, King Juan Carlos and Queen Sofia of Spain. Um, the Majesties Don Juan Carlos and Donna Sofia charged me to convey their most sincere thanks for the kind Christmas congratulations they have received at the time that they transfer their best wishes for the year 2021. I take this occasion to send you a cordial greeting. Let's see what's next. Um, this one I received from the Princess of Wales. Um, wishing her happy birthday. Uh, this page is dirty because I have this one facing out pretty often. The Duchess of Cambridge asked me to thank you for your letter of the 28th of December. I apologize for the delay in replying to you. Hope you understand the coronavirus pandemic has limited offices capacity. Really kind of you to write as you did. Her Royal Highness was touched by your generous words of support and respect of the words that she does, highlighting issues surrounding children's mental health. The Duchess of Cambridge greatly appreciated your thoughts, thoughtful message, which you sent on the occasion of her 39th birthday, and has asked me to um, send you her warmest thanks and very best wishes. So that one was not just a card, so I really enjoyed that one. Um, need to replace the page protectors because they're like really dusty and spotty. Um, who is this? This is from Princess Sophia in Sweden. Okay, and then statements that Prince Philip had died. And then something else from the palace released. And then pretty much all of the palace statements or like prime minister statements I printed off. Um, President Biden, President Obama, Prime Minister of India, Irish Minister of Foreign Affairs. Um, the Prime Minister of somewhere, 
Australia. King Carl Gustav of Sweden. The Royal Family of the Netherlands. King and Queen of Belgium. King Constantine of Greece. Um, Princess Anne, the Princess Royal, release a her own statement. Um, First Minister of Scotland. And in the middle of that, I have a letter from King Felipe of Spain. Uh, gratefully fulfilling commission of His Majesty the King, I transfer to you on his name his effective thanks for the warm words of congratulation you addressed on the occasion of his birthday. Um, I found an article about the island that, or the tribe that treat, treated uh, Prince Philip as like a god, and their reaction to his death, and then kind of a breakdown of the prince's funeral. And I found a lot of this online and just printed out. Uh, the few people who were allowed to attend the funeral due to the uh, coronavirus. And then there was an article about uh, Meghan Markle's children's book. So um, back in early 2021, I printed out like a lot of these articles. Um, didn't really keep up with it. I think at some point I started um, the Keeping Up with the Royals Instagram account and kind of started doing that instead. But I also don't keep up with that either, so. <laughs> Alright, here is a card from Prince Edward, um, Earl of Countess of Wessex, now the Duke and Duchess of Edinburgh. That's the brother of King Charles. Um, let's see. Oh, this one is from... Prince Hans Adam II of Liechtenstein, and that is actually signed by the prince uh, for his birthday. And Liechtenstein, if you don't know, is way in that little circle. And then again from Liechtenstein, there is um, Princess Marie, and that is again hand signed by her as well. Uh, they actually came in the same envelope but I have them separately because it's two different guys. So that was, you know, pretty neat to have actually signed by them. Uh, His Majesty the King of the Netherlands, uh, King Willem Alexander. Uh, the Queen of Denmark, Queen Margareta. Uh, Crown Princess Mary of um, Denmark. This is from uh, Prince William, Princess Catherine. This one was from uh, King Charles. The Prince of Wales thanks you so much for your very kind message of sympathy. His Royal Highness is enormously touched by the um, 
Many generous messages that have been received in recent days. They have provided a great comfort at this very sad time. The Prince of Wales sends you warmest thanks and best wishes. Um, King Philippe of Belgium for his birthday. Uh, Princess Anne. This is the only card I got from her without that photo, but it is still the same, the same text. And we have King Carl Gustav of Sweden for his 75th birthday. Uh, Prince Charles of Luxembourg. Uh, this was from the the Queen. This is Prince Louis's uh, birthday in twenty twenty one. And these cards typically have, you know, some on the back. Uh, Duke and Duchess of Cambridge, very grateful for your kind message. You sent to Prince Louis on the occasion of his birthday. Um, Duchess of Cornwall, now Queen Camilla. This is actually a pretty large size card. Um, and we have Princess Anne again. Now we've gotten to the point where I don't have the um, the little papers typed up, so I need to go back and do that. Then we have Princess Anne. Then we have um, the royal family in Belgium for Christmas 2022. This is from Sarah, Duchess of York. Sarah Ferguson. Um, when her granddaughter Sienna was born. This one, I believe, was from... Let me see. Uh, Princess Beatrice. Thank you so much for thinking of us at this... Um, Can't read what that says. A special time. We are so thankful to have welcomed this little person to our family. <laughs> Here's the royal family of Spain. Again, that's another really large size card. And on the back, it has their signatures. Uh, printed, not hand signed, though. And then the royal family of Monaco. Um, this one was interesting because that was the year that Princess Charlene was very sick and was stuck in South Africa. She couldn't travel because she was so sick. So they couldn't actually have a photo. They had to have um, a drawing of them for their card. And on the inside, it has their Christmas message in three different languages. Here is King Charles and Queen Camilla. And then I sent some little cards to the, um, the Irwins in Australia and received a response from them. King Juan Carlos and Queen Sofia of Spain. I don't have a translation for this one on hand. But it was for Christmas, I believe. And then here 
Give me one so you can see what these are. Okay, here are some more that I have not um, put into page protectors yet. This is from Prince George's birthday. Um, this is Prince William and Princess Catherine um, from from Christmas of 2022, I believe. And this is a duplicate of what I have framed um, across the room. This is from the death of the queen, from um, her son, Prince Edward, now the, the Duke of Edinburgh. This is from Princess Anne, even still it's the same card, but it's signed by her lady-in-waiting. This is from the Prince and Princess of Wales, William and Catherine. This is from Queen Camilla, from the death of Queen Elizabeth. And then this is from the coronation of King Charles and Queen Camilla. So this one is from Camilla herself. Um, and great, greatly appreciate her birthday message. Oh, this is from her birthday. Thanks for your kind thoughts. So they use the portrait of her from the coronation for her birthday message. All right, but that's my collection. Um, as you can see, I don't have anything from King Charles's coronation yet. Um, there wasn't really a whole lot online you could buy in the States. Well, like from Amazon or Etsy or anything. Um, there's some really expensive things you can order from England that I just can't afford. And then a lot of stuff just in England just didn't get put online for people overseas to buy, so I um, wanted to try and add some of that to my collection, just haven't been able to yet. Um, there's also um, the porcelain dolls, the portrait dolls as they're called. <laughs> um, the year of that the Queen died, there was one for her jubilee that was, you know, her at age 96 or whatever. Um, and then when she died, they made one of her from her coronation. And I want both of those. Um, they're both a little bit pricey, like a couple hundred dollars a piece. And then, I don't know if they're out yet, but there is one of Prince William and Princess Catherine as Prince and Princess of Wales. Again, that's like a hundred to two hundred dollars a piece, but I do eventually want both of those. And I think there's some. I'm not sure if they're making any of King Charles, Queen Camilla yet, but if they do, you know, I like to get those. Um, so those are like on my bucket list of things to get. That and some more, um, or some any at all, some King Charles coronation items. So this is it so far. Um, we'll see if more gets added. Every so often I go on eBay, um, or Etsy, and I look up stuff, and I tell myself, I'm not going to buy anything I can't afford anything, I'm not going to buy anything, I'm just going to look, and I find something I fall like, in love with, it's a great price, and then I wind up buying it, so I tried not to do that, because I'm broke. <laughs> so, um, I don't know. I like to torture myself with that, though. But thanks for watching. Um, if you found this video interesting, then you're a weirdo like me. <laughs> but, uh, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.